Nation. Time to get in love formation. Your love's more deadly than Saddam. And that's why I gotta drop the bomb. Rest of Lux, and I'm here to show you on how to get your position emulator to work on your computer. Your operating system is either Windows XP or Windows 7. You are able to complete this task as any, at any purpose necessary. So first, what I want you to do is um, click on the link that says www.emulatorsnow.com which is below the screen and and just click on PSX on 113 just click on it I don't need to click on it already because I already um, downloaded it already alright so make sure you install that also for the BIOS I like you uh, I'd like you to go to www.romsforgeroy.com slash blah 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 which what you know is what you notice down here are like three links for the for the bios that says America, Japan, and Europe and it, what I would most likely recommend for you to do is install the one that says America because obviously um, you rather have the American version other than having having an arts type of version that have like different languages. But English will be best for you to use. So click on the, the first one up there as a BIOS. Also, you might also want to have the ECM tools though. Anyway, just in case um, you don't know what to use for it's best that I read like all of them first. Please don't skim through because it's really important to understand on on the actual concept for decoding um, ECM um, files like, like so. So if you want to install it now, just click on this link down here to says download ECM tools here and you can actually get it. Okay, enough chit chat now. Let's get on with the ROM games of some kind, which is doperoms.com. So on the left hand corner you're going to see a list of um, types of consoles. So click on Sony PlayStation PSX and say that if I want to install Final Fantasy 9 for a first Sony PlayStation, I will right click on this then click on download ROM again then click on this thing again and you'll be able to download that ROM it may take like a couple a few minutes for it to be downloaded but you'll get it depending on how fast your computer is so now alright I hope you have all this down the PSX 1.13 ECM tools. This BIOS here, the one that says SCPH 1001, and one of those ROMs I just downloaded. My recommendation is to extract this one and and make sure and first you make a directory like this one I made already extract files you pick a directory which one I put in PSX don't pick anything else in here Just click on PSX and you extract all your files in here since I've already done it 
I don't have to. So click OK if you haven't done so. Now for this, extract, click on Extract Files, open up your directory, then click on BIOS and click OK, and, and extract your files in here. If I'm going too fast, then you can always rewind this because it's YouTube. Now for EMC tools where you extract your files, I suggest you put like almost anywhere as you can find or set directory for ECM. But if I were you, I would put it in CD image, doesn't matter. As long as you're able to like decode any of them and the game's ECM, then you'll be able to get through of it as well. So what you should have in um in, in here in your PSX folder is all of this. The, um, the emulator and rest of this. The BIOS should have um, the BIOS folder should have this in the, inside the folder. And see, and you and you make sure that you have like this and this out too. So here, here's here's the last thing you do. You keep opening, open up this. This this may take a while. Um, and you see the data bin ECM. You want to un un ECM it and turn it to a bin. Okay. And here's what you do. You drag this out and you put it and you put it under here. Place it anywhere in here. Since it's right in there. This is what you do. You drag this and you put it inside an ECM. Once you do that, you should be seeing this too. Which is decoding the game. And then you have this data bin, which is um, one of those games that you just um, un ECM. And what and what and what I recommend you do now is like change the name into Final Fantasy. Oh, sorry. X one X I. You guys are folder. Okay, since you have your BIOS in, this is what should happen. Open your emulator. This should be shown. And what, here's what you do next. You click on insert disk Im this image. And you click on the bin. Wait, let me try this again. This should be shown now. Okay. All right. Let me try this again. Reset.
All right, so far so good. And that's my friends is how you'd be able to um get through with your emulation. You know, we could stop right there and we could talk about the configuration too. Like just in case you want to make your memory card, you just click on memory card and you click on the dot 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 button and you type in whatever. M card, doesn't matter to create your memory card. Because just in case you're, um, the game requires it, and plus the controller, just in case you're unfamiliar with controllers, since I'm using the Logitech dual action, I can configure it with my dual action, or none if you're using a keyboard. Since, all right, but if any of you do have the Logitech dual action, then this is what I would do: try up, try left, try down, try right. Triangle A. that's pretty much how it goes on. If it doesn't work on your computer, then try probably need a faster computer. And I'll tell you, and I'll tell you this only once. This doesn't work on Windows Vista at all, because Windows Vista is just like a primary image of Windows 7. So it will only work if you use Windows XP or Windows 7. And you must have a video card with it as well. Otherwise, you wouldn't see any good qualities out of it at all. So this is Ernest of Luck saying, "Have fun." Peace out, gangsters.